Hello, hello. Guys, I love coffee, okay? Last time I used to drink coffee just to help me study, right? To caffeine, keep you awake. So drink, drink, drink more, then I start to like the taste of coffee. Then now, right, I would have this bad habit of drinking like two to three cups of coffee a day. Even though that's not good for you, so you shouldn't do that. So the kind of coffee I like to drink is really the Hong Kong Center kind because it's cheaper, right? And the kind of coffee I'll go for is like Kopi Song or Kopi Si Siu Tai. What is Kopi Song? Okay, so for those who don't know, we're gonna do a fasting crash course. Kopi is basically coffee with condensed milk and sugar Then all is black C is the evaporated milk and usually they use the carnation brand Siu Tai is less sugar, Ka Tai means more sugar Then Kosong is no sugar Okay, I like my Hong Kong coffee But at the same time, I also like to drink the cafe coffee, right? Like atas, atas all But then, every time I go to the cafe, to be very honest I don't really know what the hell I'm ordering Like, to me, uh, I see it on the leash, right? Like. Americano is basically like kopi kosong lah. Then uh, the latte flat white or cappuccino is just coffee with milk. That's that's how that's how I see it. But I know and understand that that's not the case, right? Actually, got like there's 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 levels to this. There's levels to this. Okay, so an espresso plus hot water gives you an americano. An espresso plus steamed milk gives you a latte. An espresso plus steamed milk plus foam gives you a cappuccino. Then if you want a flat white, you increase the espresso and then you reduce the steamed milk. So cool right? Teach you guys so much. But at the same time, I understand like all this stuff came on the internet right? Which I also felt that way lah. And I wanted to experience and learn more about coffee myself. And what better way to learn about coffee and cafes right? Than to attend a cafe festival. Which is what I did. And then now we are going to go to Paris. <laughs> Cafe uh, festival, right? But uh, today is the uh, 14th of May, and uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, she allow us to go in. Uh, we have an L, but who oh else? All right, let's go. putting up their, their coffee like full expo like that but um, it's quite interesting because like we, have been, I, we just saw someone like just like teaching his own coffee to their shops yeah so I, I think it's just quite interesting because like um, it's no longer just an exhibition but it's like you are seeing an entire like economy and culture as well so uh, professionals like maybe baristas or roasters people who sell coffee they'll come over and they'll <coughs> interact with all the exhibitors maybe the exhibitors will go to other booths and maybe work together and find some coffee or some kind of collaboration that we <coughs> It brings together people from like many different places and especially around France maybe so they can come together and maybe make some collaboration that would have never happened without this festival. Wow. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you understand French, but I don't. So, actually, when he was the barista was explaining, I don't understand what he was saying. So, Daryl is gonna show us a quick little tutorial on how to make latte. Okay, firstly, you grind the coffee beans into this item known as a water filter. You wanna make sure that it is level. Sometimes the coffee might be in clumps mm. or there might be air pockets in the middle when yeah. you grind the coffee. So what you want to do is you want to break up all the clumps and you want to destroy all the air pockets. So use this, it's sort of WDP too. Yeah. So you just needles, then you just go around. That's what cool. Can I try to cook? Yeah. Just spray it a bit. Just spray it around a bit, just a little bit, just to break up the coffee. Oh. But yeah. And then push it down. Yeah, just put it down flat, as level as you can. Okay. 
Push it down, then when you twist, don't need to put any force in it. Okay, okay, then you can just spin a bit. Try to twist it. Yeah, yeah, twist, twist a bit. Okay, you take out. Then you come. Take it out. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Mm. So, so it's now. Okay. It's stress. Okay, yeah. Mm. So, let's try to find the hole. Then you push it in, then you turn it. Yeah, it's pull it. Okay. All the way. Let it rip. Okay, so now we're ready. So, now we're ready. I hope that it's still going, it's going very fast. But the idea is when the you see this yeah. golden brown part, that's called the crema. Crema. So, yeah. It's basically it's not crema, right? No. It's basically okay. carbon dioxide that's trapped inside the oh. beans. Okay. Then it comes out. Okay. Then it comes out. Yeah. So, to... so that acts as the base for latte art. So you can do all this stuff on it. Okay, now you put your head here. Go up here. And you take it. Then you pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just put in a little bit. Yeah, just go. You can go around a bit. Okay, okay stop, stop, stop. Okay. So this one, the whole point is to create like enough volume. Really. Volume. Well, now the volume is a bit much already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you tilt it like that, just yeah. like, just hold right. Yeah. Okay. So at this volume, you see, there's this big circle. Yes. That is where you pour it in. Okay. So when you pour this, you must pour it vigorously, like pour it quite a big angle. The big circle as in the bubbles? No, okay. like the surface. Oh, no, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Just pour it like quite quite a big angle in the middle. Yeah. Wait, am I put it down first? Oh no. Yeah, so the, the foam didn't come out. Ah, you failed again. But yeah. if you see this right, you see this, when you pour it at a big angle, all the, the foam will come oh. out. You see? Oh. That's where the foam is. <laughs> so you need to pour it at a oh. very big angle, then the foam comes out. <laughs> <laughs> latte art! Yeah. Your latte art like that! It's 3D. 3D it's 3D. latte art. Yeah. This yeah. one's specially for you one. Your favourite. Hey yes, thank you eh. <laughs> oh. Okay, now we're back to the festival. And we came across this interesting activity known as cupping. So you can see there's this worksheet thing that we got and people are invited to go around and smell the different types of coffee and write notes regarding the smell and maybe even guess where the coffee is from or what it is. After that, someone will pour hot water into the cups and now we get to smell it. This is like how you do it. But it's quite nice uh, quite, uh, I, I don't know, I guess it, like, it helps to bring the aroma towards the uh, nice knife. So this is cupping. But I don't know what the hell I was smelling like, so uh, a bit ignorant but yeah, they, they all writing notes in the Yeah, so. And of course after that, you get to taste it. You can also hear the sound that she made when she tastes the coffee. I dare say it's like the sound of a pro, you know? Okay, so like, we've been here for a few hours and really like, my mouth uh, just full of the coffee flavor but it's very interesting uh, like, seeing all these baristas, like, coffee lovers everywhere, um, I think it's quite an experience, like, it's like you are getting a peek into a culture that's not, like, like I, never, I never thought it was so, like, such a rabbit hole, you know? but yeah, so I guess this will be my last part before, like, you know, I really will like, yeah, the moment I think of coffee, you know? Uh, yeah, it's been nice and uh, maybe if there's another coffee festival somewhere in the future, I will come back again. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Ah, I don't know how I go. 